Hi everybody, Roy here. Just going to do a quick video about the differences between PT GUI Pro and PT GUI Standard. PT GUI is a panoramic image stitching software which works on both Windows and Mac. This software was originally started as a as a graphic user interface for panorama tools, and that's where the PT GUI name seems to have come from. Um, the application is downloaded onto your computer that I'm running on a Mac at the moment. I've actually got both of them running side by side, PT GUI Pro, PT GUI uh, Standard. So let's reduce the size of these two units uh, and then put them side by side and then we can compare them. So we've got the Pro version on the right, Standard version on the left. There we go. So first thing you see is there are, there are a different number of um, tabs at the top. The two main tabs that are extra are the mask and the expose HDR. Those are not on the standard version. Now when you're on the P project assistant you can press this advanced tab on both of them and that gives you all of the different tabs. It shows you all of them. So I'll do that on both of them. Now if you are not on the project assistant tab here, you're on another tab, it will not allow you to show the advanced tab. So let's click on source image and show you that the tab has gone. Go back to project assistant, it's here. If I go over to control points, it's not there. So go back to project assistant. So we'll put the advanced one up so we can compare the two. So first thing you can see is that the mask is not on this side as we've just said. And then we also haven't got the expose HDR. And the third tab that's different is the project settings, which gives you some, gives you various uh, settings that you can readjust in the project. So let's have a look at the main um, advantage of PT GUI Pro. If I come over here and press mask, what this allows you to do is to mask the image either positively with a green or negatively with a with a red. So if the looking at this image one and zero um, and they are overlapping slightly, you can just about see these here, this here and here. So if I zoom in a little bit and say go to 25% and we'll go across the to the far corner of the image and across to the far corner of the image there, you will be able to see that those two hedge rows here and here are the same. So if I wanted to mask this here with a negative mask, so you know, taking it out of this photo, I can do, and you can see it's moving over the, on the other side, and I want to make sure that the, I am positive masking over here, I can make this the dominant area. So this will be deleted off this photograph, and this will be added to this photograph. The reason you would do that, sometimes you'll get a, a panorama where people are involved, so a person will appear two and three times in the panorama or the half of their body will appear so this is when you can actually mask out part of that uh, image and make a, a mask in the other part of the image so masking can be used wherever there are movement like cars people waves let's make this a little bit bigger so you can get a feeling for the different sizes of how easy it is to mask um, information in and out of a, an image. Okay, let's take another two. Let's look at five, um, five and six. Okay, so now if we come across here, we're, we're at 25%. Uh, you'll see the C's over here, and then we've got this duplication over here. So if we wanted to move this over and mask this in here, you can see it moving over there, and mask this out on this particular image it's very straightforward to do so that gives you a brief overview of masking uh, the other change is exposure HDR this tab here so if you're using HDR or LDR um, images you can blend them together using this tab here group bracketing um, so you can change the settings, uh, 
and when you do the HDR. Um, I don't use HDR an awful lot now um, because the images that we're getting with basic um, single images are, are pretty good. So there's no real reason to go for the depth of HDR um, unless you're trying to look at something that you're going to use to print. Uh, let's go off that. So the other thing you can do is use the Pro version here for blending and tone mapping all of the images. So you get a, uh, if you can see here, you can optimize those now. So let's have a look at the settings. We click on this tab here, and there are various settings you can change. So you can optimize the white balance, disable it, enable it, keep it the current. You can do flare. You can look at the response curve, optimize exposure, disable it, enable it, a full keep it current. There's various changes you can do here. Um, and you can also do it um, take images in, put images in and take images out. So that's the, the um, exposure and color settings. Um, let's, if I bring up the detailed viewer and I'll pull, bear with me a second, I'll pull this over to here. So this is the actual viewer, we can view the image now. Uh, if I change this and we wanted to look at the exposure, move the exposure up here, you'll see this is changing over here. We'll take it down. If I set this to zero again, back to zero, so that's what, and then I just put the press the auto optimization now, so it goes through the images, tone match dips the panorama. You see that slightly change. So if you just look at the difference now, if I go back and edit and undo that, you'll see it change. So let's look at the price of the two PT GUI options. The there's a personal license and there's a company license which um, allows you to have an, up to three seats. Um, personal license for the standard version is £72.87 including VAT and the the PT GUI Pro personal license is £136, £163 including the VAT. I would always recommend you go for this version here although it is a, a lot more expensive because of the masking uh, capabilities it allows you to stitch the panoramas a lot more effectively and uh, it, it works really really well um, stitches very quickly uh, and this is the this is it would be the option that I would recommend um, you can get a free version um, and but that puts PT GUI uh, watermark all over the image but to test it and play with it if you wanted to take a free go for the um, go for the download and use the free image and play with it um, you do not have to pay every year you get free upgrades for one year and um, and the license is 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 i think it's in perpetuity so um, i hope that's been helpful bye for now